good and focused. Let's focus. <laughs> focus. <laughs> but let's try to be focused. We're on the way. We're on the way. Really yeah. way. We take our time. You can, you can take us in focus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is the light okay? And... Yeah, it's, the light is pretty good. Yeah. All right. I think Gibbet is a very interesting form of bringing two parts together without a middleman. So I have a donor and I have a campaign or a person that wants to raise money. But I don't, if I'm the donor, I have money and I want to give it to a cause. That's amazing anyway. And on the blockchain, I can do it in a very transparent way. So I don't have to trust any company what happens with my money. I can actually really see what happens with my money. And on the other hand, when I want to raise money, I don't have to go through any kind of campaign, crowdfunding company organization. I can just go on the platform and say, hi, I have this idea, this cause, and I need X money. And I can make it happen. Exactly, I can make it happen without all these bureaucratic systems. And this is absolutely amazing, and I think this can actually really change donations. In the current space where people are trying to build a community around a cause, often they have these middlemen that kind of disintermediate the connections that could happen. And so with the central point that everyone is connected to, usually it's a charity or, or even a church or a foundation, or everyone is kind of connected to that. Well, if we can take away, if we can build another option, where people can be connected to each other but still have this central point managing the funds. Uh, that is a, well, a, central, a central source of truth of how the funds are managed in a decentralized way. Uh, we can focus more on those connections between the, the people that are donating and the people receiving the donations. Connecting those groups of people, to me, that is the most exciting part about it, about giving. If you're a person trying to do good in the world, chances are you're not necessarily the best money person. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't, but they're not, they don't necessarily go hand in hand. But if you're trying to do something in the world and you need to collect money to do that, suddenly you're forced to be kind of this money person. So now you're forced to come, become an accountant and you're like, okay, hey everyone, I know you uh, gave me this money for this cause and that's what I'm using it for, but let me try to account this and some things you want to show and don't. And suddenly maybe you kind of find yourself being sort of a bad person one day. You're like this money person even though you meant to be something totally different, you really just meant to uh, go to this part of, of town or this part of the country or this part of the world to do something and suddenly you've become a money financier, you know, kind of, kind of person. And there's probably a lot of stress to worry about those quarterly when you really just want to be worrying about this other thing. And so if our platform can keep that separate where it's just like, oh no, you just concentrate on what you wanted to do in the first place. The money things, the pressure's off of you because this approval system of money, this donation system of money, handles answering that for itself without you worrying about it. I donate to like traditional charities and you know, you give like 10 or 20 euros a month and then you have no idea where this money ends up. It's like impossible, it's, you know, they send you like a magazine like once three months and it's like, why do they send me a magazine? I want them to help. <laughs> animals or kids somewhere, right? So you have no idea what's, where your money is going. And of course you hear all those stories that there's like a lot of overhead and, and yeah, the nice thing about Gifit is that it's because of blockchain technology, you can really see where your money is going and have influence on really making sure that it's spent on helping people or animals or the world. I come from Brazil where we see a lot of poverty and we see a lot of NGOs as well, but we don't have transparency to know what each NGO is really doing and how are they using their money and how effective they are being. Uh, so this is something that I really think it's important that we can make a breakthrough in this direction and try to make the NGOs accountable and make it all more transparent and hopefully more effective. Crypto seems to be the way to give power literally really back to people by 
for example, decentralizing systems, getting rid of systems. So banking systems seem not really to work anymore. So what do we do actually with cash, with money? How do we understand working values, commodity, all this? And they try to add at least ideas to change it. And crypto tries to decentralize things. So I don't need to trust in systems anymore because I can actually trust in people and I have communities around it. seriously that they went outside of, of, the, of their town to other towns to find out the cheapest way that they could actually do this, you know, to build that tank or to, to build that road or to, to bring that uh, power. And it all was because they were empowered to do so. Anything that has to do with community development, for example, I would love to be able to be part of a I don't know, as a delegate or as some kind of a sponsor to go into communities and actually encourage them to do something that they never thought they could do. You know, build a school with computers so that we can teach children how to program, for example. I would love to see that happening. And I think this is, uh, this is the place where we can make those things happen. Outside of the normal things that we can actually help improve, but going a little bit beyond what you would normally expect. We have uh, some ways to call it. We call it the Giveth or the Unicorn DEC. And we operate this, uh, this um, the development of Giveth uh, under a DEC model. And um, for me personally, I think I will, uh, I will use Giveth and start something or contribute to something. But right now, I don't think too much about what that could be. Like, I see so much potential for change in so many places. And um, I think in the end, you should probably go where your heart leads to. The number developer, we were so different but we were just sharing this, start sharing this, 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 uh, this, this vision. I started probably more from the more technical side, you know. I developed the mini-me. I think that the good token is, is fundamental for accountability, you know, from more the technical side. Um, it's important for the governance and for the voting, and for me it was important piece of these new societies. I see Giveth in 2027 as an operating system for people to connect with each other and interface with each other in, within their community so that they can collaborate on causes, so they can build a, a specific solution, or not even a specific solution, but many solutions, and see which ones work to solve the problem. It's just a tool. It's like the hammer doesn't get credit for building the house. You know, the people are, will be using Giveth as a hammer to build their dream and make that dream a reality, build a solution for that dream. Like so many technologies, I believe that in 10 years, blockchain will be ubiquitous. You might be getting paid for, for a job you did online, for collaborating, for offering a few hours of your time, and you will receive some money on your wallet, and in a way, it doesn't even matter if it's on the blockchain or what technology specifically or what blockchain is being used, you will just know that you're being paid for a service. And in the same way, I hope that Giveth will be uh, a standard platform for people to collaborate on their own projects and causes and communities and to build on top of Giveth what they would like the future to be.